I just had to charge it long, at least some. So I'm sitting here as a miracle that's still alive. And I'm now judging <coughs> the people that judge me on my YouTube stuff. Because they judge me. I say, my name is now Christ Ye Jeshua Ye Jesus Christ. Which means the Christ is actually the anointing. Yeshua is his former rabbinical name as a Jewish person. Jesus is more the name that represents the Gentiles' opinion of Jesus or Jesus or whatever, you know. And Christ just represents, you know, the anointing. So that's why I say that, you know. Because that's the knowledge that goes behind the word that I actually created. And it's my most beautiful way of expressing my love for him. And I say, I am now Christ Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And I'm judging the Catholic Church that because the love of money is the root of all evil and you'd rather have people be dead and starving and cold over in New York than open your church doors and have them have warmth for an evening. And you'd rather have money saying that you can try to save the world or something, but you're the modern-day incarnation of Judas Iscariot, and you're crucifying Jesuses all across the world with your abomination of desolation preaching out of you. And you sit there and still there's places amongst you where people and kids are being molested. And it's okay because they're fathers and they're saves, but they're really the most purest form of faggotry that's out there because they're standing up and declaring to people that they're actually saved, but they're ch father of child molesters. And uh, people that are actually saying that they're, um, you know, um, gay and saying they're not, they don't apologize for it, but aren't preaching in the church because they hate it so much are actually saved because... They actually have the mind of a woman and the body of a man because they've been hurt by men so much in their life that they're hard-hearted and their SDMPOA, which is a sexually dimorphic nucleus of the preoptic area, has actually enlarged enough to be an open-minded man in a closed-minded female's body. And you don't even understand a word I just said, which is brilliant. No, actually, I'm a lot smarter than what people think just yeah. because I had that many... Seizures yeah, I, I was actually raped as a baby two days, and the first day I was born, and the second day I was alive by my father. And I had enough faith to know this was true, and forgive him, and pray for Man, the Lord stop. to save him. And he did, out of honoring my prayer. And that's the gift that I have to extend to y'all. Because I said, well, God wouldn't have let that happen. I must have planned it out myself because my Lord would never let me suffer. So it's really my own fault. It's not God's fault at all. You can't blame the Lord for my suffering. He loves me too much. And then you say, well, that makes sense, Will. We blame Jesus for what you were going through. I said, don't be stupid. I blamed, I did that so that I could be able to say to you two, me, myself, and I's out there to stop being raging werewolf bitches and actually understand that I love you and we're already one. But you want to sit there and try to rage across time because of the pain that I endured, but you guys are the ones that endured it yourself because you sat there and you actually, uh, Nova, was raped by your mother and your father and every man that you were experienced and every woman that you were with. And you're a loving woman. And Teresa, unfortunately, you weren't raped by your mother and your father, but you were raped by your friends. And you were raped by your brother. And you still are raping your brother because you're squirting and coming. And you don't want me to judge your brother as guilty and send him to hell for a perverting a pure relationship with you. But I don't care what you say. You can't forgive Satan if he's really intentionally Satan. Because you can't take a relationship that's meant to be of flesh and actually sit there and pervert it. And you can't go over to the Bible, Satan, and say, well, Lot was righteous. Because his daughter slept with him, and that's who you are. You're a righteous lot. No, I would never sleep with people who are genetically related to me. I wouldn't need people who sleep with people who are actually just related to me by the law. 
because that's disgusting to me. They're my sisters. I am not a sister fucker. I like my wives. And I have two of them that I'm married to. But we're one. We're me, myself, and I. Where I can actually be myself. With honesty. And not have to feel this spirit of condemnation. Being secreted on me for judging this country as guilty in so many different ways. For this girl named Nikki Carasquillo. Who is one of my wives as well too. But I'd rather see... Me, myself, and I sit there and stop judging people and allow me to be the man of God that I am and understand I already did it. Okay. Even if you don't see it. And that's what faith is called and righteousness is called. Because I have little Satan puppets everywhere acting like they're still alive and it's just a big joke because I'm a magician. That's holy. So God bless you.